Good morning. And welcome to our worship service this morning. We are so thankful to see all of your faces today as we celebrate Trinity Sunday and confirmation for Callie Collicutt and Neela Irving. Um, as we gather together, let us acknowledge the land and welcome you into the sanctuary with this video. So we have a few more slides to share as we gather and, and celebrate and share our joys. Um, the first, I want to uh, share the joys of our graduates. So this year from Centennial, Callie Collicutt is graduating from grade eight and her older sister Tori is graduating from grade 12 at SDI and she's going to be attending the University of Guelph for landscape architecture. Amelia Dutka is graduating this year and she is going to be attending York University for criminology, uh, psychology and criminology, I think it is. And uh, Willow Hawkins, who is my niece, is graduating from grade 12 at CDDHS, where her rugby team won the OFSA champ or came third in the OFSA championship. Uh, and she's going to be attending Queen's University in the fall and taking a Bachelor of Arts. So we are so excited for their futures and for Callie as she goes into grade nine at SCI. We uh, just, I thought we could acknowledge them and give them a round of applause. And at this day, we also acknowledge that even though Sunday school, our Sunday school program was not able to run like it normally did for most of the year, we couldn't even have Sunday school as part of our Sunday worship like we normally do, but we still met. And so Alinda put together a little video tribute to remind us of everything that the Sunday school has been doing. So that's on the next slide. And I guess you'll have to share computer sound and all that fun stuff again.
just want to say a special thank you to Donna Nadalny and Marilyn Beecroft for their help at all of those special events that we held. There was another one in the fall that the pictures just didn't make it in there to gather us all together in September. And um, we are still having another Sunday School Gathering next Sunday on June 19th. We're going to have a little outing as part of our Sunday Schools. Um, what, during worship, the Sunday School is going to go out and uh, maybe get uh, ice cream. So. Uh, you might want to come back next Sunday. We are so thankful for the persistence and willingness of our young people to keep coming out to all these different things we have done and offered. And uh, it's just, just a delight every time we're able to gather. So that is one of our joys for sure. Are there other joys as we gather on this Sunday morning? I'll name that it is uh, Colin and Neela's birthday today. Yay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Colin and Neela. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, it's just so wonderful to hear everyone sort of break into song for these two and I know that the celebrations will just continue today as we gather for worship we also come with concerns and so if there are concerns you have to name today this could be the time that we enfold uh, them in our loving community. <clears throat> I want to name today uh, that Wayne, this is sort of like a joy and a concern. Uh, Wayne and Shirley Coase have a new uh, grandson. Stephen's partner uh, had a baby on May 20. Fifth, I want to say, but a few months early. So the baby's in the NICU, and uh, we keep that baby and the whole family in our prayers, even as we celebrate this wondrous birth. The baby's doing all right, but is very premature, so you know all of the challenges that that comes with. So we think, think of that. This week, we will be celebrating the life of Donna Allen on Thursday, the 16th at 11 a.m. So we keep her family in our prayers and also each one who was a close friend this week. And just a reminder for all the women in the congregation that our Centennial Women will be meeting this week a celebration that we will finally be able to meet. Uh, it's on Tuesday at, remind me the time, 1.30, yes. Uh, when life gives you lemons, and we have plenty of experience with that. So uh, just a reminder for Centennial Women to come out for that. And if you can remember to bring a personal item for the food bank, that would be most appreciated. And I also want to remind people that Camp Sempresca is having an open house next Saturday. So if you are wanting to attend that open house, uh, Greta Horton is going to be going and would love to organize a carpool with anyone else who's interested. And she let me know this week that her grandson, Luke, is going to be on the staff at Camp Sempresca this summer. And we have a couple of people from our congregation who will be going to Camp Sempresca this summer. And we're very excited about that. So uh, if you have time next Saturday and want a beautiful drive to Midland, uh, you can talk to Greta after worship today. And after worship today, we're going to be sharing cake. And since it's rainy, we're going to be doing it in the CE Hall. Uh, so they have that all set up for us to join together after church and and share with one another and continue the celebration 
Without further ado, I invite our two confirmands this morning to come and light the Christ candle for us. May the light of God shining through us brighten the world. And let us join together in our call to worship. Together we gather on this Trinity Sunday to celebrate our Sunday school and the confirmation of Callie Collicutt and Neela Irving. We are rooted in the soil of those who gathered here before us. We don't know what the future holds, but we come in trust. Then let us join as one in worship, a family of faith united. Let us pray. Melinda, is there any way you could move that bar of stuff just up to the top? And yeah, that sounds good. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, who was there at creation and delights in us still, we gather this special day in Christ's name to give you glory. Make us aware of your presence in what we say and do and dream. Strengthen the ties of faith and affection that bind us together as your people. Help us as we rise and shine to live out your vision of love and service in the world. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So let us sing one of Neela's favorite songs. Uh, we're not singing the whole thing, much to her annoyance. We're going to sing the chorus of Rise and Shine, a song all about Noah's Ark that goes on and on and on and on. I invite you to rise and shine. First scripture reading for today comes from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 to 4, and then 22 to 31. Does not wisdom call, and does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights, 
Beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries out. To you, O oh people, I call, and my cry is to all that live. The Lord created me at the beginning of his work. The first of his acts of long ago. Ages ago, I was set up. At the first, before the beginning of the earth, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. When he had not yet made earth and fields or the world's first bits of soil, when he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master worker, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the human race. And a readings from Romans chapter five. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. So we have a few reflections on confirmation and uh, I, I'm going to start it off. <laughs> uh, because I want to end with the reflections from Neela and Callie. Because to me, they're more important than me. When long before time and the worlds were begun, That's the song that comes to mind when I hear our scripture reading for this morning from Proverbs. All week, this scripture reading has been filling my waking and my sleeping hours. All week, I have found comfort and reassurance in these words, wisdom cries for all people, that she was there at the very beginning of creation, delighting God and delighting in us. On a day like today, when we delight in our young people, and especially in these two young women as they proclaim their faith, it's easy to imagine the spirit delighting in us, isn't it? This is a day of delight. But the other thing I love about our scripture passage this morning is that it reminds us that what we do here today is connected down through the ages to the very beginning. These words and actions today call us back to remember not just the height of COVID socially distant confirmation service of 2020, complete with Zoom, a car rally parade and lawn signs, 
but also to those confirmation services of yesteryears where there would be a dozen or more standing across the front of the church in their Sunday best. And what is even more amazing still is that through our history and tradition, our memories can reach even further back to those early Christian conversions and into the ancient stories of the people of God who have followed through the ages. The silence was broken when God sang the song and light pierced the darkness and rhythm began. And with its first birth cries, creation was born and creaturely voices sang praise to the morn. It just adds to the joy and delight of this day to know how the spirit of God has been moving and singing in and through all creation for an eternity. My favorite part of these confirmation classes that we held was the day when we spent trying different spiritual practices and taking time to connect with God's spirit. Let's face it, there's a lot going on right now that can separate us from God and from hearing God's voice and feeling God's love. So it was a true blessing to see how peace and calm came over the group in the round room that afternoon and know that the song of the spirit was being heard once again. And what delights me even more is that this is just the beginning of the journey for Callie and Neela, and that the spirit will continue to sing in and through them in surprising and exciting ways long after this day is done. We cannot know all the good works they will do through Christ, but we can imagine that God will sing through them and us to create a world more loving and just, one note at a time. And what is even more delightful is that our faith is one that gives us a vision that can see just as far into the future as we can into the past, to God's kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So it is that we are inspired to plant seeds that others will water and water those plants that others will harvest. And to trust that the things we do today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit will join that ancient history and be remembered long after we are gone. And so it is. To you, God, the singer, our voices we raise. To you, song incarnate, we give all our praise. To you, Holy Spirit, our life and our breath. Be glory forever through life and through death. There is nothing that can stop us. Thanks be to God. And so I want to invite uh, Neela, I think is gonna come first and share her reflections on confirmation and then Callie. Okay, so my mom's a minister and church has always been there for me. Um, it's not something I ever really thought about much. Uh, it was a place where I saw Grandma Connie and Grandma Lynn and Grandma Carol. Uh, can you guess who my actual grandma was? Uh, and it was where I made my first friends and landed my first major acting role as Mary holding baby Jesus, a role I was happy to play, play again this year on our float in the Santa Claus parade. However, I would have liked my dad not to be playing mm -hmm. Joseph. <laughs> but you, get, you take what you get. I have had so many happy memories from my time at the church. 
When we moved, I knew if church was anything like the church in Kelvington, then I had nothing to worry about. And I'm happy to say it wasn't long before I found myself a Grandma Barb and a Jelly Bean loving kindred spirit in Shirley. Not to mention more friends in Sunday school, thanks to amazing teachers, Valerie, Marilyn, and Donna. And we're all today have been gifted a treehouse and sponsored to go to camps in Prescott. I'm not going to lie, though, my favorite thing about church is coffee time. But no matter what we are doing, church is the place where I can always be myself and feel love no matter what. Now that I'm joining the church myself, I hope I'll be able to help others feel as welcome and at home here as I have felt. Thanks to you, my amazing church family. When asked the question, what does church mean to me? So many things go through my head. It's crazy to think how different my life would be without church. I grew up going to this church and Sunday school. I've matured and learned so much with the help of this church. I'm so thankful to be a part of a church community that is full of love and support. Everyone in this church is so loving and caring and like an extended family. Some of my fondest memories are playing Sam in the reenactment of the poem, Sam McGee. I bet Lloyd couldn't pull me on that toboggan now. Stumping Wim with my many questions. Thankfully, Valerie would come to his rescue. Like, if Jesus died on Good Friday, why do we call it good? The Amazing Race. I thought for sure us young ones would have the older folks beat for sure, but they gave us a run for our money. Finally, the many games of sardines and hide and seek in the once forbidden parts of the church. Thanks to Jennifer's easygoing character for letting us explore these places. I'm excited that I am getting confirmed and continuing on this journey in Centennial United Church. This church has not only taught me about Christianity and God, but it has also taught me the importance of community and belonging. Now we're going to sing one of Callie's favorite songs. Perhaps you remember her always requesting it when there was a request for favorites from the congregation. It's number 224. Sing a happy hallelujah. We're going to sing verses one, two, and four.
Today is a day of welcome, a day of celebration, a day of covenantal promise, a day of grace. Today we are gathered by God's grace, both online and in person, to witness the covenantal promises of those who have chosen this day to confirm the faith proclaimed in their baptism. We gather to celebrate how they have found God's love, heard Christ's teaching, and been led by the Holy Spirit to this moment, and to celebrate the place of Callie and Mila in the people of God. We give thanks for the gifts of the Spirit that they have been given and shared with us in this community of faith, especially their hard questions and open hearts. And we promise to continue to support, nurture, and love them as they dream dreams of the future of all creation. We gather to welcome them into full membership within Centennial United Church and the United Church of Canada. With joy and thanksgiving, we celebrate with them and rededicate ourselves to the work of the body of Christ. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you, all that the Father has in mind. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Holy Spirit has been declared to us. God's love has been declared to us. And so with confidence, we celebrate this confirmation. I invite uh, Dave Hopper to come forward now and present our candidates for baptism. Oh, confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> They've already been baptized. On behalf of the congregation of the United Centennial United Church, I present the following persons who seek to confirm the faith proclaimed in their baptism. Callie Lorraine Powerback, Mila Lillian Kirk. Hey, Dave, do you want to come over and stand by me? I ask these candidates to make a profession of their faith and baptismal promise. Do you believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh to reconcile and make new, and who works in us and others by the spirit? Will you follow in the way of Jesus Christ, resisting oppression and evil, seeking justice, and witnessing to God's love for all creation? I will, God being my helper. I will, God being my helper. Will you proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, your judge and your hope? I will, God being my helper. I will, God being my helper. Will you join with your brothers and sisters in this community of faith to celebrate God's presence, live with respect in creation, and love and serve others? I will, God being my helper. I will, God being my helper. I'll ask the congregation to rise and make a commitment. As a baptized and baptizing church, Will you continue to support and nurture these young women, encouraging them as they grow in faith within a community which worships God, resists evil, and seeks justice? If so, say, we will, God being our helper. And now let us proclaim an affirmation of our faith, a new creed. 
that it should be on the screen, and we're going to do some actions. This has been part of our confirmation classes uh, that's been centered around a new creed. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has taught in Jesus the word made flesh to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect and grace, to love and serve others, to seek justice, to love people, to proclaim Jesus, crucify everything, our self and our hope in life, in death. God is with us. We are not alone. Thank you, God. Please be seated. I'm going to uh, invite uh, Donna to come forward and Callie's family members to come forward also to join in a laying on of hands. Callie, the power of the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born of water and the Spirit, you may continue to grow in faith and love all your life. Amen. Okay, Callie, we have a couple things for you, so just stay right there. <clears throat> Callie, may this bracelet and the symbols on it be a reminder of the profession of faith you made this day and your new life in Christ as you continue to grow in God's way. Callie, may this candle be a symbol of the light that shines within you. May it shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to God. Well, oh, one more. <laughs> There's your certificate. Congratulations. And now I invite the families of Neela who would like to come forward and join in the laying on of hands to do so. And I invite Dave and Donna as well. Mila, the power of the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born of water and the Spirit, you may continue to grow in faith and love all your life. Amen. Uh, I'll be receive this Bible and with your sisters and brothers in Christ, continue to grow in faith, trusting in God's promises. So, Neil is getting a Bible today too because she didn't get one when everyone else did at the Sunday school. She was too young. <laughs> and then it was COVID. 
Camila, I would also like to present this candle to you as a symbol of the light that shines in you. May it shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to God. And may this bracelet be a reminder of the profession of faith you made this day and the spirit song that flows in and through you and all around you, inspiring the song in you this day and forevermore. Yeah. Let us pray. Gracious God, giver of life, we are the echo of your laughter and the image of your smile in whom you delight. We trust that you are with us always and reveal your goodness through the loving actions of your people. Today, we rejoice that your spirit has touched the lives of Callie and Neela, inspiring their faith and fanning the flames of their love for you and all creation. In the days to come, may we expect great things from you and attempt great things for you. In the name of the one whose glory lights the way, we pray. Amen. Go into the world in the power of the Spirit. Pursue justice, faith, love, patience, humility, for to this you were called. All who are united in the covenant of baptism are the body of Christ in the world. Go in peace, growing in faith, hope, and love, bearing the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. And so they are confirmed. As they return to their seats, we are going to sing Kumbaya and invite uh, the Spirit to come by here at our communion service. This is the table of the Lord, and all are invited to join in this meal, which feeds us and inspires our work in the world. 
So let us pray. O oh God, loving Father and Mother Eternal, creator of all time and space, in this, our own time and place, we give you thanks and praise you for giving us life and inviting us to share in the history of a people who are blessed by your faithfulness, challenged by your prophets, forgiven by your mercy, and ever surprised by your power to do more working in us than we can ask or imagine. Therefore, we join our voices with the voices of all you have created and all you have loved, all you sustain, to praise you saying, holy, holy, holy God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you for your life manifest in Jesus, bone of our bone, flesh of our flesh, whose life, death, and resurrection reveal you fully. Your love for humanity, your desire for human freedom, your passion for justice, we remember that Jesus gathered at table with his friends in a time of struggle and fear, took bread, blessed it, and gave it to them saying, take and eat for this is my body. And after supper, Jesus took a cup, looked forward to your desired day of joy and power, blessed that cup and said, take this all of you and drink. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. I will share this meal with you again in the reign of God. Share this bread and this cup in memory of me. Let us proclaim together the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Come now, Holy Spirit of God. As you were present at creation, be present now, and let these gifts of bread and cup become the bread of life and the cup of blessing for us, so that we may delight in them. As you were sent by Jesus to accompany us on our journey of faith, be present now, and make this community and receiving this bread and cup one body in Christ, living and working in the world to usher in a new creation filled with your power and glory and delighting God. Amen. The bread of life. The cup of blessing. The gifts of God, blessed by the Spirit of God. The gifts of God for all God's creation. Come one, come all. Delight in the sharing of God's gifts. Everyone is welcome at the table. So, our communion today is going to be served at the front by Callie and Neela. And I invite you to come forward and they will hand you the bread and the cup. And I invite you to take that bread and cup back to your seat where we will eat it and drink it together when everyone has received the elements. If you are unable to come to the front, please know that we will come back and serve you in the pew before we celebrate communion together. Come, all is ready. You two can stand right together. Thank you. 
can't wait to. This is truly the bread of life. Let us eat it and be nourished together. And this is the cup of blessing. Let us drink it and be filled. Let us pray. At this table, we have joined in your vision for creation and been united as your family, O oh God. May this meal so fill us with your grace that we reflect your glory in all our living. 
Amen. So now I'm going to do the blessing for our service, and then uh, Mila is going to give us a sung blessing. We go forth into the unknown future, trusting in the part we have to play, and knowing the family of God that is all around us, lifting us up and showing us the way. For the love of God, the grace of Christ, and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit are ours. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Maybe switch to VGA. Now we can go eat cake. Thank you so much to everybody who helped make this a special service for Callie and Neela. And uh, I, am, I look forward to the celebration of their confirmation as it continues in the CE Hall. If you are joining us online and you want to stick around and say hello to uh, the confirmands, I'll get them to go back to the computer at the back and, and say hello to you. Uh, for those joining us from afar, like I think Neela's dad is here.